Hey there, true believers. Rank is Ragi here with more. Let's play Red Dead Redemption. Last time we we met God, um, and we did a lot of missions. Got a Native American killed, and said goodbye to the most racist character in this game. So now it's time to work for the government again. Yay, because they're such nice people. <sighs> well, I'm looking forward to this. Can't you tell? What do you want, Marston? My family. I've done what you asked. <laughs> no, you haven't. This is the land of opportunity, and I gave you the opportunity to save your family, and you failed. How could I possibly reward you? Marston, you're a public menace. We should have had you killed. I wish you had. <laughs> but since you didn't, where's my family? Oh, spare me the noble savage fall on the sword tripe, will you? Oh, boy, it's nauseating. You don't wish to be dead. You're an insignificant creature desperately clinging on to life like the rest of the scum in this town. Yeah, I know it's tough. You like Dutch. He's a charming fellow. He makes sense. He's like one of those nature writers from back east. Only he takes things a tiny little step too far. Rather than just loving the flowers and the animals and the harmony between man and beast, <laughs> he shoots people in the head for money and disagreeing with them. He's a goddamn killer. Now, I'm not a great intellect, but the metaphysical leap from admiring the flower to shooting a man in the head because he doesn't like the flower is a leap too far. Yeah, fair point. So, I know it's easy. <laughs> you see, we, me and Archer, we're the bad guys. We enforce the rules. Now, while the rules may not be perfect, they're really not so bad. Exactly. What's the alternative? I'll tell you what the alternative is. It's not complicated. It's about one man and his gun versus another man. <laughs> sure, civilization may be dull, but the alternative, Mr. Marston, is hell. In the way you enforce this civilization, this freedom for men to like or not like flowers or whatever, in God's name, you were just talking about. Is to kidnap a man's wife and son? Well, I know there's contradictions. I'm not going to lie to you. <laughs> yeah, as I said, I'm not a great intellect. Now, after the debacle with the army and the bank, we have to put Mr. Vanderlyn to rest ourselves. Will you help us? I don't have much of a choice. Do I have any choice? Thank you. Now that you mention it, no. Then what was that pretty speech in aid of? I don't rightly know, but it sure felt good saying it. <laughs> Shall we, Mr. Marston? Let's go. Oh, this is going to be fun, isn't it? Ooh, Gatling gun. I do like Gatling guns. Or whatever this is. I'm sure there's a real name for it, but it's a Gatling gun. Let's see if we can put this to rest once and for all, shall we? No, why do we just be mowing down people? He's got a gun on the back! Oh my boy, day! I've never seen such a Let's see. Iron Dragon! That's devil's work! They told me about these! The army's been building them and sick! Good driving, guys. Thank you. Oh my god! What kind of so we're just gonna go in silence then? This killing machine of yours seems to be turning a few heads! Our armed forces have no equal! We have made incredible progress the past few years! Is that what you call it? 
The Army has made camp a little way outside town. They put word out a large cache of ammunition and food is stored there. Vandalin's gang needs constant supplies, so that should be enough to draw him in. No mistakes this time. You hear me, Marston? I thought you were talking to Fordham. It's like I made mistakes. I did just fine. Everything I do is just fine. Not too much more, but not less. It's this quiet time that really gets to you. Makes you want to empty loads of rounds into the ground. Here they come! Look, they brought the machine gun! Yep. I get to use it. Because I'm a crazy person. What's the word, Captain? We spotted one of Dutch's men about an hour ago. I think he took the bait. Let's get in position then. Have your men ready to run them down if you have to. Okay, no more, no more fake shooting, my friends here. Oh. Are you ready to finish this, Mr. Marston? I guess so. This is actually finishing it. I'd be more than happy, but I doubt it. Hold your fire until I give the word. No. I wanted to shoot the gun. <sighs> Jerks. <sighs> Targets on the horizon. Fire at will. Come on, move. Hold them up. Christ alive. Oh, I love these missions. They're j you don't you won't really understand just how fun these missions are until you actually play the God game yourself. If you haven't already played this game, I highly suggest you do because it is great. Where am I getting shot at from now? Oh, from this guy. <laughs> well, that went well. All right, take two. I can't really see that well. I have a tiny screen as I complain about all the time. Lemus can uh, can attest to my tiny screen. Here it's very small and hard to see things on. Keep your eyes peeled. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you still not ready? There they are! Open fire! Get a machine gun and start mowing people down? Keep going! Aha! These guys have TNT. The guys who are on foot have TNT. Oh, Wilhelm scream. Okay, I was going to say, is that to me too, or is it just them? It's like shooting blood-filled fish on a prairie. Christ, this thing's a lot bumpier off the road. It's going to be a mess if we have to follow them into the woods. Yeah. Well, I've killed all of them, so... This is insanity! I can hardly hold on! Just shut up and drive, Fordham! I've killed all of them already. What are... Oh, I never mind. Shut them down! Shut them down! Kill those bastards! 
talent here, wouldn't it? Oh, we should all know me better. Ah. Oh, crap. That wagon's out of control. It's coming straight out of our tower. Bang. Never mind. Well, now I'm dead. No, I'm not. And the truth shall set you free. Hmm. Well, Mr. Marston, it seems like your mentor, Dutch, no longer looks quite so kindly to his student. That man is insane. So it seems. I think we need to get him before sundown. As you say, Captain. Otherwise, he'll be gone again. And what if I say no? <laughs> now, before I shoot you myself, let me just point out the obvious. The one person we have left that can appeal to Mr. Vanderlyn is the last person we know who knows him. Your wife. That won't be necessary. Mr. Ross, Captain, let's go. <clears throat> I hate these people. Mount up, man. Um, can I get my up. horse? I don't, I don't want this horse. I want my horse. Sorry, boys. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be a second. Oh, here you are, horse. Ha ha! I can't believe Vandalin has built himself a fortress in the mountains. He's crazy, but he certainly ain't stupid. You've already seen that place, right? McDougal told me you went up there with that Indian chap. I've seen it, all right. We'll be lucky to last five minutes with this many men. I think we'll be able to do, do better than that. Governor Johns is going to be very pleased. Nate Johns? What's he got to do with any of this? Let's just say he has a vested interest in cleaning the filth out of this region. I don't think our old friend Dutch realizes what a great favor he has done us, inciting all this hate among the natives. Like you needed an excuse. See, this is what happens when you fraternize the savages. How could you ever follow a man like that? How could you ever follow a man like Ross? Touché. Vanderlind is a psychopath, a murderer, and a rapist. Ross don't seem too different. Dutch was a good man once. A far better man than you. So what made him this way? I don't know. Bastards like you. Seeing that things never change. I hope you're ready to finish this mess. Anything to get you sons of bitches off my back. There's always somebody watching, Mr. Marston. I thought you'd have gleaned that much by now. You think you're so clever, don't you? No, it's you who thought you were clever. You thought you could just walk away from your own life. Make no mistake, we have been watching. Don't speak to me. You're really an ungrateful slug, Marston. Instead of punishing you for your crimes, we are giving you a chance to kill the men who betrayed you. You didn't have to punish my wife, too. Oh, please. She's hardly innocent. Don't you talk about her like that. Oh, I would never talk ill of dear Abby. Do you call her Abby or Abigail? I prefer Abby. Oh, I like the woman. A little rough for my taste, but very pleasant. I can't <laughs> wait to put a bullet in your head. Oh, well, let's certainly hope I get to. Certainly hope I get to. When will this be over? It's you who's been dragging it out, not us. 
We sent you to Fort Mercer with the simple task of killing Bill Williamson. Next thing you know, you're running all over Mexico like a headless chicken. And now it's Dutch. But he's the last one of your merry band, is he not? Then you can go back to your farm, or what's left of it. If need be, you can always send your wife back out to work. I hear she works hard. Go to hell! Oh, I certainly hope. This old gang of yours just won't die easily, will it? I wonder how many deaths you are all responsible for. How much money you took from pockets of hard-working citizens. We did more for the people with the money we took than the damn government ever did. Good God! This flawed philosophy yours again. If you wish to argue the finer points of ethics, I suggest you learn to read first. And I suggest you learn how to shoot people in the front, not the back. It's a good point, John. It's a good point. <laughs> Sorry, everybody. Allergies are getting a little, getting a little, getting a little bit of the best of me today. I want to ride in the back. I'm the most worth, most worthwhile person here. Why can I ride in the front? Lead this charge. Don't want me in front anyway. You guys can die before me. Especially Ross and Fortin. They can definitely die before me. I, th I think they have plot armor, so I don't think they can. Which sucks. Why are we slowing down periodically? What is what is going on here? Is it to cross that bridge? Well, it does look very unstable. Game's made of trees. I guess all I guess a lot of bridges are made of trees, but it's it's cut and and, and you know processed tree, not just regular tree. I hope that makes sense. Ignore me, I'm a fool. It's these quiet times before anything happens. It really gets to a guy, makes him wanna kill everyone with him. Kill them all. No, if only I wouldn't be allowed to do that. Okay, I'm going further up in the, in the pack here. So I'm tired of you people. So you're the one who's gonna kill him, Dutch? Yep, that's what they keep telling me. But if you feel like doing it, please be my guest. Well, this is suicide, if you ask me. My scouts have seen that fort of his. I wanted to wait for more men, but them city boys back there weren't having none of it. And you answer to them? Unfortunately, it seems that now we do. Well, this guy's pleasant. He's gonna die in this cut first cutscene, though, but... You, blow that gate open. He's at least pleasant. Move, soldier. 